So let's take a look at which is greater, 1 8 or 1 10 And the way we can do that is we had the same denominator here. We could just compare the numerators and we'd know which is greater, 1 8 or 1 10 And we can even figure out by how much. So 8 times 5, that would be 40. So I know that I can do that. And then over here, 10 times 4, that also equals 40. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 4. I need to multiply the numerator by 4, too. That's because 4 over 4, it's just 1. We're dividing 4 by 4. We get 1. So we don't change the value when we multiply by 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And 4 40ths, that's an equivalent fraction to 1 tenth. Up here, 1 times 5, because 5 over 5 is 1, we get 5 40ths. So now 5 is greater than 4, so 5 40ths is greater than 4 40ths. Only by 1 40th, but it's still greater. And since 5 40ths is the same thing as 1 8th, and 4 40th is the same as 1 10th, we can say that 1 8th, that's going to be a greater fraction or a larger fraction than 1 10th. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.